In this video, I'll cover integrating Apache Guacamole with Authentic. This is part of a series of videos on setting up Authentic and integrating it with different applications and services, all running on a Synology NAS. I'll link to those other videos in the description below. This video also builds on my previous video about setting up Authentic on a Synology NAS using Container Manager. So make sure to go through that first or have Authentic running elsewhere on your network. Also, if you're unfamiliar with Apache Guacamole, check out my video on setting it up on a Synology NAS, which I'll also link in the description below. Let's get into the setup. At this point, Authentic should already be running on your Synology NAS, and both Container Manager and the text editor applications should be installed. From here, let's start setting up Guacamole. Open File Station and create a Guacamole folder under the Docker Shirt folder. Next, open Container Manager and create a new project, which I'll name Guacamole. Set the path to the Guacamole folder you just created. For source, select create docker-compose.yaml and paste in the config that you'll find either in the description below or as a pinned comment to this video. The two items you may need to change are the host port if port 8080 is already in use and the time zone. Once you've made those changes, click next through the next few windows, then click done to complete the setup and start the project. Now open a new browser tab and connect to Guacamole using your Synology's IP address on port 8080 or the port you selected when creating the project. Log in using Guac Admin for both username and password. Once logged in, I recommend changing the Guac Admin password. To do this, go to Settings, then Preferences, and update the password under the Change Password section. I also set up an SSH connection to my Synology NAS under the Connection section. Then I switched to the home screen and successfully connected to my NAS. Now that Guacamole is running, let's switch over to Authentic and log in as the AK admin user so we can configure the integration. Once logged in, select Admin Interface. Expand the Applications menu, select Providers, and click Create to start setting up a new provider. In this window, select OAuth2, open IP Provider, then click Next. In the New Provider window, Enter a name for the provider, which I'll set to Guacamole. For the authorization flow, select Default Provider Authorization Explicit Consent. Leave Client Type, Client ID, and Client Secret as they are. For redirect URIs slash origins, select Regex and enter the URL that you'll use to access Guacamole. In my case, I'll use https colon slash slash guacamole.djaloha.synology.me. Under Advanced Flow Settings, set the Authentication Flow to Default Authentication Flow, then click Finish to complete the provider setup. Now go to Applications, then click Create to set up an application for Guacamole. Enter an application name and slug then select the Guacamole provider that we just created for provider. In UI settings, you can choose an icon, enter a publisher name, and add a description if you'd like. Once everything is set, click Create to finish the setup. Next, let's set up a reverse proxy in DSM. Open Control Panel, go to Login Portal, then click on the Advanced option, and select Reverse Proxy. Click Create to open the Reverse Proxy Rules window. Enter a name for the Reverse Proxy, which I'll set to Guacamole. 
Under Source, set the protocol to HTTPS. Enter the redirect URI, which builds off the DDNS hostname from the previous authentic setup video, and set the port to 443. For destination, leave the protocol as HTTP. Enter local hosts for the hostname, and set the port to 8080 or what you chose in the setup earlier. Next, assign the reverse proxy to the Let's Encrypt certificate that was created in the previous video. To do this, go to Security, then select Certificate. Click Settings, then assign the reverse proxy to use the Let's Encrypt certificate for the DDNS hostname. Next, we need to make some changes to the Guacamole project. Open Container Manager and stop the Guacamole project. Then select YAML Configuration and uncomment the extension line to enable Auth SSO OpenID. Click Save, select Only Save the Changes, and click OK since we'll need to make additional modifications before restarting the project. Now open the text editor application and edit the guacamole.properties file under the second guacamole subfolder. You'll then want to add the OpenID settings, which you'll find in the description below, then replace the placeholder values with the details from your authentic setup. To get these details, open Authentic and navigate to the Guacamole provider. First, copy the authorized URL and replace the value for the open authorization endpoint. Next, do the same for client ID. Also, for the OpenID configuration issuer. And the JWKS URL. Lastly, copy the redirect URI, which should match the URL you created when setting up your reverse proxy. Once your changes are made, save the file. Now, go back to Container Manager, click Action, and select Build to recreate the Guacamole project. Once Guacamole is rebuilt, switch over to the Guacamole tab and refresh your browser. You should now see a sign in with OpenID option in the lower left corner of the Guacamole login screen. Next, log into Guacamole as Guac Admin and create a new user. Go to Settings, then Users, and click New User. This new user will map to an existing authentic user, which in my case will be the user FURD. You don't need to set a password since authentication will be handled by Authentic. Next, assign the permissions that you want the user to have, which I'll set to create new connections and enable any connections the user should have access to. Now, log out of the Guac Admin user in Guacamole and the AK Admin user in Authentic. Go back to Guacamole, click Sign In with OpenID, and I'll log in with my FURD Authentic account. Once logged in, I'll click Continue to redirect back to Guacamole. Since the account was assigned the Create New Connections permission, I can now create new connections, and everything is working as expected. At this point, your Guacamole setup should be successfully integrated with Authentic. For further details, check out the references I used to create this video in the description below. Also, watch my previous authentic videos linked here on screen. If you'd like to support my work or need help integrating an application or service with Authentic, check out the links on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.